now let us discuss about programmable array logic in short we can call it as pal we have two types of programmable logic devices the first one is programmable logic array that is pla in the last class already we have seen the topic and the second one is programmable array logic that is pal so let's see the explanation pal is a type of programmable logic device used to implement boolean function so with the help of the pal we can do some programming we can write some logics like addition of like addition swapping we can do some programming we can write some logic on the devices Uh, so by using pal mainly we can implement boolean functions pal has programmable and gate array followed by fixed or gate array this is the major difference between pal and pla in the last class already we have seen pla programmable logic array where it contains programmable and gate array followed by programmable or gate array that means we can change we can perform operations on the and gate as well as or gates but here we can program the collection of the and gates array means collection a, a, a group of a number of and gates we can do some programming on the and gates but here the or gates are fixed or gates are fixed now let us uh, take an example in the ex in the examination mainly the question will be given on uh, some examples f1 is equal to the first boolean function is sigma m of 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 6 so m so m means min term so that means sum of products f2 equal to sigma m of 0 1 6 7 f3 equal to sigma m of 2 comma 6 implement the boolean functions using pal programmable array logic so in the examination truth table may be given or some boolean functions may be given or directly boolean expression will be given but here we have boolean functions so for the boolean functions we have to find the boolean expressions here the maximum in term is 7 so a three variable carnot map is enough so this is for f1 so f1 means 1 2 4 6 so 1 2 4 6 if you see here we can combine these two cells as a group these two cells as a group there is no need to combine this one with any one so this one is nothing but one group okay so if you see here so this is the boolean expression so for this map so likewise if we see the f2 sigma m of 0 1 6 7 so 0 1 6 7 so we can combine these two cells as a group these two as a group so this is the boolean expression so for these two groups f3 equal to sigma m of 2 comma 6 so this is 2 this is 6 so we can combine these two cells as a group so this is the boolean expression for this group now we have to draw the circuit diagram with the help of the pal so here we have a a bar b b bar c c bar so this line represents a this line represents a bar b b bar c and c bar here if you see here Uh, the first boolean function the first boolean function expression the first boolean expression contains three min terms whereas second boolean expression contains two min terms third boolean expression contains single min term so here the maximum min terms in a boolean expression are three so 1 2 3 so we require three and gates for each function actually for this function we require only two and gates only but we must use the maximum and gates expression so here the first expression contains 1 2 3 3 three min terms so that's why so 3 plus for the second function also three and gates for the third function also three and gates so totally we have to take totally we have to take nine and gates now let us see the circuit diagram using pal here the first boolean expression contains three min terms so that's why we require three and gates for each boolean expression 
So 3 into totally we have 3 boolean expressions are there. So 3 into 3 means 9. So we have 9 and gates. This line represents A, A bar, B and this line represents B bar, C and C bar. So we have to draw a line through each and gate. Here the and gates can be programmable whereas the R gates are fixed. So we have uh, 9 and gates. Uh, if you see the first and gate, what is the first and gate? A, C bar. A, this, this intersection represents A. So put a cross mark. This intersection C bar. So this and gate represents A, C bar. Next, second and gate A bar, B bar, C. So this intersection represents A bar, B bar and C. C. So put a cross mark. So this and gate represents A bar, B bar, C. And the last and gate B C bar. So this this intersection represents B, and this intersection represents C bar. So B C bar. Next, what is R gate? Here the R gates are fixed. It is not possible to program the R gates. Here we require three min terms for each expression. So here we require three and gates for each R gate. So let us draw a line like this. Let us draw a line like this. So this line represents first R gate. So what is first R gate? So this, that is F1 expression. So what is F1 expression? AC bar. So this line. We can put either cross mark or dot. A solid circle like this. It is our choice. So this line represents first and gate. That is AC bar. Next this one. A bar, B bar, C bar. Next this one, B, C bar. So here the R gates are fixed. And the next three and gates. That means this fourth gate, fifth gate and sixth gate. That is nothing but F2. So F2 means sum of 4, 5, 6. So that's why it is called as PAL, Programmable Array Logic. And gates can be programmable, but R gates are fixed. So first R gate requires three and gates, second R gate requires three, three and gates, likewise third R gate also three and gates. So this is third R gate. So it contains the sum of the last three and gates. Next, if you see the second expression, what is second one? A bar, B bar. A bar, B bar. So this line represents A bar. This line represents B bar. A bar, B bar. Next, A, B. A bar, B bar plus A, B. So this line, this intersection A, this intersection B. Whereas the third one is, it doesn't represent anything. There is no need of any connections here. Why? Because second boolean expression contains only two product terms, only two min terms. So here this sixth and gate is zero. So now this R gate is sum of this fourth one and fifth one and sixth one. So that means A bar B bar plus A B plus zero. Next, the, the last one, B C bar, seventh one B C bar. So this line represents B and this line represents C bar. So this and gate represents B C bar, this and gate 0, this and gate 0. So B C bar plus 0 plus 0 is nothing but 0. So this is about P.